Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna run a heavy workload test to compare the performance of the Honor Magic 5 Pro against the S23 Ultra. In my previous comparison between the S23 Ultra, the 14 Pro Max and the Pixel 7 Pro, the S23 Ultra smashed the competition and it was the only phone to complete the test successfully without any lag or thermal issues, which is something even the 14 Pro Max couldn't achieve. Today I'm gonna run the same test on the Magic 5 Pro and the S23 Ultra as they share almost the same specs. Both have a 12GB of RAM, a UFS 4.0 storage, a 120Hz refresh rate, 5G connectivity, and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. But only the S23 Ultra has the slightly overclocked version of the 8 Gen 2 made only for Galaxy. On the other hand, the Magic 5 Pro I have here has 512GB of storage, versus only 256 in the S23 Ultra, which might compensate the difference in the clock speed. So I'm curious to see if the Magic 5 Pro will be able to achieve the same exceptional performance of the S23 Ultra as far as both has similar specs, or Samsung has its own secret which will keep it in the lead. To find out, let's jump into the test. To make things fair, let's put the rules first. Both will be on cellular data and a set of Wi-Fi to make things harder. The maximum refresh rate will be activated on both. I have both displays set to the closest resolutions possible, which is Full HD Plus on the S23 Ultra and the standard on the Magic 5 Pro. Unfortunately, there is no exact match between the two, but this is the closest I managed to get. Both are running the latest stable software versions available at the time of filming this video. And finally, the screen brightness is calibrated to 390 lux using my light meter. Now everything is ready and here's the setup. It includes a stopwatch, a thermometer to show you the room temperature, two secondary phones which I will explain why I have them later, and of course the S23 Ultra and the Magic 5 Pro. The test will include four heavy tasks for each phone to run at the same time. Task number one is to start a Microsoft Teams meeting, share the invite with the secondary phones to make sure that the meeting is running throughout the test, and then start the screen sharing. Task number two is to play a 2160p video on YouTube and keep it running in picture in picture view. Task number three is to open Google Maps and start the navigation to Dubai Mall, and finally play Asphalt 9. The duration of this test will be 30 minutes, but before starting my stopwatch, let me show you that the game graphics is set to the highest quality on both phones and now let's begin and see what's gonna happen. After about 6.5 minutes, the S23 Ultra display was noticeably dimmer than the Magic 5 Pro which is impressive. I didn't expect any phone to beat the S23 Ultra but it seems like owner has a different opinion, so let's continue. After 13 minutes and 55 seconds, once more the S23 Ultra dimmed the display even further, while the Magic 5 Pro still intact. Shortly after, at 16 minutes and 54 seconds, the Magic 5 Pro decreased the brightness for the first time to be almost the same as the S23 Ultra, but it took longer to reach this point. And when it comes to performance, none of them showed any signs of lag or thermal issues, so let's keep going. After about 28 minutes and 30 seconds, the Magic 5 Pro display became noticeably darker than the S23 Ultra. Yes, it kept the brightness higher for longer, but it got a big hit right after the 28 minutes mark. So I'm not sure which one is the winner here, as both did manage the situation differently. The S23 Ultra decreased the brightness gradually throughout the test, while the Magic 5 Pro was trying to keep the brightness as high as possible for the longest period of time, and suddenly dropped it dramatically. So you are the judge in this case, but for me, I will call it a draw. Now let's take a final look at the performance before the time ends. And I see both are still delivering the same exact performance since the beginning, which is impressive on its own, as other phones like the Pixel 7 Pro and the 14 Pro Max failed to even reach this point. Now we are done with the 30 minutes, so let's take a look at the temperature and battery. The S23 Ultra maxed out at 50.3 degrees Celsius, which is extremely high, while the Magic 5 Pro was noticeably cooler at 45.1. The room temperature reading is higher on the S23 Ultra side, 
and I think it happened because the S23 Ultra was warmer and close to the thermometer which slightly impacted the reading. When it comes to the battery both started at 94% and finished at 81 and that shows how consistent and powerful is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 regardless which phone it's used in. Now let's take a look at the findings to declare the winner. The S23 Ultra was faster to dim the display slightly after the 6 minutes and 30 seconds mark while the Magic 5 Pro display was brighter in the first 16 minutes of the test but at the end it was more aggressive in decreasing the brightness and it ended with the darkest display so I will call it a draw. Temperature wise the Magic 5 Pro was noticeably better with 5.2 degrees less than the S23 Ultra. And finally both did the same when it comes to the battery percentage and the performance. So the win goes to the new champion the Magic 5 Pro for its better thermal management. So that's pretty much it for today that was my heavy workload test between the Magic 5 Pro and the S23 Ultra and please let me know in the comments what do you think. But for now thanks so much for watching and see you the next video.